You reach for your debit card, ready to grab a coffee, but nada. That sinking feeling hits, an unexpected bill or expense threw your budget into disarray. We've all been there. But before you panic, there might be a solution hiding in your phone. Bridget. Now, Bridget isn't your traditional bank. They don't offer accounts or loans in the usual sense. Instead, they call themselves a financial safety net. Intriguing, right? But the real question is, can Bridget be your financial hero when you need a little extra cash? Let's dive in and see how much you can actually borrow with Bridget. Hold on a sec, though. Bridget isn't magic money. It's important to understand how Bridget works before we talk about borrowing amounts. Here's the gist. Bridget analyzes your income and spending habits to predict upcoming bills and potential shortfalls. Based on this analysis, they offer you an advance, essentially, early access to a portion of your already earned income. Okay, that sounds good, but how much can I get? This is where things get interesting. Bridget doesn't have a set borrowing limit advertised up front. Instead, your advance amount is personalized based on your unique financial situation. Factors like your income stability, spending patterns, and past borrowing history with Bridget all come into play. Think of it like a trust system. The more responsible you are with your finances, the more Bridget trusts you and the larger the advance they might offer. Here's a breakdown of what typically influences your advance amount. Income. The higher and more consistent your income, the more Bridget might be comfortable advancing. Spending habits. Responsible spending shows Bridget you can manage your money well, potentially increasing your advance limit. Bridget history. If you've borrowed and repaid advances on time in the past, Bridget is more likely to trust you with a larger amount in the future. So, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Exactly. While some users report getting advances as low as $50, others have snagged amounts exceeding $250. The best way to find out your potential advance range is to download the Bridget app and connect your bank account. The app will analyze your data and give you a personalized estimate. Beyond the numbers, using Bridget responsibly. Remember, Bridget is meant to be a safety net, not a bottomless well of cash. Here are some key points to keep in mind. Avoid the cycle of debt. Only borrow what you can comfortably repay by your next payday. Plan and budget. Bridget shouldn't replace budgeting. Use it for unexpected expenses, not for impulsive spending. Repay on time. Building a good repayment history with Bridget increases your trust score and unlocks potentially larger advances in the future. Bridget versus traditional loans, a quick comparison. While Bridget offers advances, it's not a traditional loan service. Here's a quick comparison to help you decide. Feature, Bridget advance, traditional loan, approval time usually instant, can take days or weeks, interest rates, no interest charged, interest rates apply, credit check, no credit check required, credit check usually required, repayment term, buy your next payday, varies depending on the loan, export to sheets, is Bridget the right fit for you? If you're looking for a quick and easy way to cover a small unexpected expense without the hassle of traditional loans and credit checks, Bridget could be a good option. However, if you need a larger amount of money or have a longer repayment time frame, exploring traditional loan options might be a better fit. The final verdict. Bridget can be a valuable tool in your financial toolbox, but it's important to use it responsibly. Remember, it's not a replacement for budgeting and managing your finances. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.